Hey guys, you know the dealio, just testing out the audio. Uh, I'll be on in just a sec. I got a real fun one for us today, I think. I don't know. I think it's fun. Oh, key, do, key, r, t, cho, key. Hi, guys. It's Louie. That's me. How you doing? Ugh. I was trying to get more comfy in my chair. Sit crisscross applesauce. You know how that's the most comfortable way to sit. Hi, everybody. Today, we are doing something kind of cool. Uh, we are crocheting Mario. But we're not just crocheting Mario. You see, I have been working for the past week... Well, I've been working on it for a long time, but I've really been trying to put a lot of focus on it in this past week for how to um, read color charts in a different way to make it a little bit easier for you you to read uh, all the color changes in my little tiny amigurumi like this. I think it helps a lot, like a lot, lot. I think it's way, way easier to read these patterns using this color chart, but I don't know. And so I need your help. So uh, what I did is I made uh, this color chart for this Mario um, this week, and then I put it up online for free. Uh, you can find it using this link right here. But if you do make this pattern today or this week or whenever, um, please, there is a questionnaire that is below the download button. 
If you go to that questionnaire after you're done, please fill it out. Uh, let me know what you think about the pattern. It asks a bunch of questions like, what do you think about this part of the color chart? What do you think about that part? I really need feedback, um, honest answers. Uh, please don't sugarcoat anything. Uh, but if you like it, let me know about that too because I need to know how well this works uh, before I start putting into uh, putting it into use across the website for a bunch of different patterns. Uh, again, I think it's pretty useful. Uh, and what's really cool about it, so when you go to the pattern, which is right here, going to uh, clubcrochet.com slash Mario test, that's where I put the pattern. And when you go to it, here, I'll pull it up on the screen right now. There you go. What's cool, I think, is that you can, um, all of these boxes are actually all check marks. You can see round one, round two, round three, and then even these boxes are check marks. Now, I'm not going to explain how to read this color chart in this video. Um, because there is a whole, there is a whole, uh, page two explains how to do a color chart. And part of this test is seeing if I explain how to read it in the color chart itself well. Uh, so I won't explain how to read this, um, right now, but there is explanations in the PDF itself. So please go download the PDF right here and test it out. Um, for this pattern, you're going to need the following materials besides the pattern. We're, I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. You're going to need uh, red, white, brown, beige, um, red for his t-shirt again, blue for his little overalls, and then just a little bit of yellow. Um, just, a, just a touch of yellow for his little buttons. Uh, and then, oh, you also need just a tiny bit of black yarn. I actually forgot my black yarn, so I gotta go get that. Um, but yeah, that's all you need to make this pattern. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it for the materials. Oh, and because I'm using all worsted weight yarn, I am using a size G four millimeter crochet hook here. Let me get this off the screen for you. Um, and I'm using a darning needle and I'm using a pair of scissors. And obviously you're gonna need a little bit of stuffing and some safety eyes. I'm using six millimeter safety eyes today. Okay, so that's what we're gonna need. Now while you're getting your materials, uh, let's talk about how you can support this channel if you're interested. Um, this channel and, and my all my patterns and stuff are completely supported by you. Um, if you'd like to help support me and this channel, um, you can in a few different ways. The first way is to get a membership. Memberships, uh, help out the channel a bunch. You can find out more at clubcrochet.com, but you get things like exclusive patterns. Um, uh, you get kits mailed to your door every month. Uh, you get discounts in the shop. You get, uh, and you also get to support the channel, which is nice. Um, this next month's kit, well, this month's kit was actually for a sandcastle and a beach ball. And we're going to be actually crocheting this next week. So if you're a Club Crochet Pro member, save your kit for next week. Um, we're going to be making it uh, on a live stream. Uh, and then next month's kit, I'll be talking about in a little bit during the halftime show because I've been kind of working on it. But in early October, we are going to be making a bunch of ghosts. Um, as the first, I think it's going to be the first live stream in October. We're going to be making a bunch of ghosts. Looks like I'm a little overexposed here, but I'll fix that in a little bit. Um, but we're going to be making little ghastly boo. Um, this is just a classic ghost and then pinky from uh, Pac-Man. Uh, and this kit is actually going to be available for purchase next week. This was last year's, um, club crochet pro kit. And so this, uh, this year I decided to make it purchasable. So if you want to, I'll put this into the shop this week. It's another way you can support the channel um, and you could purchase the kit and it'll get there before we do the live stream um, as the first Sunday in October. Uh, and again, it's not up yet, but I took the pictures last night. It should be up uh, probably tomorrow. Um, okay, another way you can help support the channel if you're interested is you can get stickers. I got a bunch of stickers that are available for purchase. There's merch also like t-shirts. Um, this one's not in the shop just yet because I keep uh, being lazy and not putting it in the shop, but check out how cute this t-shirt is. There's a little guy sticking out of my pocket. See, He's ah, got a little crochet hook too. That's coming out uh, in just a sec. But in the meantime, if you wanna help with purchasing stickers, I've got a bunch of different ones professional hooker stickers. Anyone could be a hooker. This one's got a clear back. Uh, this is the newest sticker that I'm really proud of. It's a little crocheting orc. 
uh, crocheting a little goblin. I really like this sticker. Um, no one's actually purchased it yet, which I'm actually kind of surprised about because I think it's the cutest one. Uh, so yeah, all these stickers are available. And like I was saying before, if you have a membership, you actually get a discount on these. Uh, I think you get a dollar off or 50 cents off or something just for having a membership. And you can even have a membership uh, for, you can get a free trial for a membership if you want to just try it out. Um, you will need an account to download this pattern, by the way, but you don't need a paid membership. You just need a regular free account. Uh, okay, so that's everything. Oh, and then the last way is you can super chat. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can super chat by, there's a little dollar icon next to uh, the chat uh, for this live stream. If you hit that, your message will appear on screen and um, yeah, you'll help support this channel and I'll do a little dance. I'll probably do a little dance with Mario here. Um, Okay, I think that's everything for supporting. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, well, let's get hooking. I think that's just about enough of me chatting away. Let's rock and roll. Let's get this yarn out of the way. Oh, I am gonna need to get black yarn. Let me grab that really quick. Cause I don't know where I left it. I think it's over here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Got it. Okay, now let's get crocheting. You just need like the smallest amount of black. I'm wondering if we can, uh, if I finish this today, if I finish this quick enough, um, which is something that I think is really cool about this, uh, this pattern chart is that it's really quick, in my opinion, to crochet. Um, it like, it just, I think it explains it really well. So it, whoa, what's that on screen? What is that? Oh, I think it's this. Yeah, got it. Um, is that it It explains the colors changes really well so that I can do these patterns super fast. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get going and read the chat. Can I make Luigi, if I finish this fast enough, which I think I will finish it pretty quick, um, but if I finish it fast enough, I will uh, be, Maybe doing a red shell. Uh, maybe we'll do Luigi. I don't know yet, but we'll probably be doing something else because I think this pattern is a little too quick. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about the color chart though. So if you can, please oh, test it out. Oh, my yarn is all tangled. Already, I just started. Untangle yourself, sir. And in the background, we are listening to music. It's like a chill Mario music playlist. So it's all, it's all music from uh, different Super Mario games. This song is boring, in my opinion. It's a little sleepy, but... I did like, uh, there was the water uh, level song from Super Mario 64, um, Super Mario Brothers, um, the original Super Mario Brothers. And so I thought it would be fun to crochet Mario. And this would be a great opportunity to test out this color chart, uh, which I really need help with to, um, for, for next month's kits, because I really want to finish this color chart up and make it really polished and perfect for you guys to make it as easy as possible. I mean, I'm flying now. What's great is the first four rounds are all red, so it's pretty easy to work the color chart for the first four rounds. I have not checked out Roblox yet. I have not had the chance. It has been a crazy busy week. Also, so I live in San Francisco and I, you might have heard that California and Oregon are on fire. I mean, not like kind of on fire. We are like all on fire right now. <laughs> it's crazy. So San Francisco was caked in um, smoke this week. It was really weird. We couldn't really leave the house because it smelled like smoke everywhere. And on, I think on Tuesday or Wednesday, it was so smoky out that it blocked out the sun completely. And at 
noon, it was completely dark. It was like we had to have all the lights on in the house because the sun was completely blocked out. It looked like the devil had popped out of the ocean or something and decided to visit San Francisco for the day. Everything was red or completely dark. Um, and you couldn't go outside. It was just too smoky. It was weird. It was so weird. Now our cars are all covered in ash. It's really bummer. If you can find a way to support California and they're fighting their fires by um, by donating to um, the, I don't know, fire service, that would probably be great. I don't know. I should have prepped that before this because that would be really nice. It is really nasty right now, though. We definitely could use the support. Yeah, yeah, Bob, you're in Oregon, too. Yeah, I saw a meme about uh, California and Oregon's talking to each other, and it's like, my world's on fire. How about yours? <laughs> Yeah, wow, it's all the way in southern Utah. Yeah, it's taken over the country. All right, so I finished round four. Now I'm on round five, and round five is the trickiest part of this pattern because you're doing a split. And like I said before, I am not going to be explaining. How to do this and this. I'm going to just be doing it. Victoria is still crocheting Chubzilla. Well, that's great. Chubzilla needs a little bit of love. He's a cute little chubby body. I think I'm going to give Chubzilla to um, the one we made last week. Uh, I'm going to give it to my friend who's got a little baby. I was supposed to see them today, but it's still too smoky out. So we can't. It's okay. I'm doing this a bit different this time. I, I usually pull the loops through. There's, I'm doing this thing called a split for this pattern. And I'm actually doing it backwards a little bit. But it worked. So ain't no complaining for me. Two... And four. I'm really excited because Super Mario has it. Oh, uh, Mace asks, what kind of, what size hook am I using? I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. Um, and I like using ones with a little rubber backer like this because I use it to stuff in my pieces. And I like using metal um, crochet hooks because they're smoother uh, and uh, I don't break them as easily because I do crochet pretty tightly sometimes. So I'm always worried I'm going to break my crochet hook. Yeah, totally, Victoria. Yeah, we got lightning. By the way, that lightning was really cool to watch, but who would have known... Who would have known that the lightning was going to cause all these fires everywhere? But we had like this shocking, haha, <laughs> uh, lightning storms. Pun not intended. Okay, where am I? I am. Da, 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 da. Okay, the last two stitches are a different color. This is why this color chart's easier. Those are the last two stitches. Okay. I should keep tra track of where I'm at. I am on round six. Okay. Stretch that cap out a little bit. And we need to change this color. Uh, 
I know, the fire started by the gender review. How disappointing is that? It's just so, like, it's embarrassing, honestly. Okay, and then it's worked in the back loop, okay. That one for the first stitch. We'll cut it. I'm really excited about the new Super Mario games. Um, if you didn't know, Mario is coming out with a, uh, or Nintendo is coming out with a um, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which means that they're coming out with remakes, not really remakes, they're just like re-coming out with all the 3D Super Mario games together. Um, it's gonna have Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and um, Super Mario Galaxy. And it's coming out on the Switch. I think it's coming out like next week on the 18th. So I'm really excited for that. Should be here. Uh, I already pre-ordered it, so it should be here pretty soon. So this is six stitches. Beige. Um, and yeah, I'm most, I think I'm just gonna do it in order. I think I'm gonna start with 64 and then uh, go over to Go over to Super Mario Sunshine. I remember Super Mario Sunshine really well, but I never played Galaxy, so I'm excited to give Super Mario Galaxy a shot. right there there we go we're cruising yeah I I really I've been trying to replay some Mario games too to like kind of celebrate I guess a little bit I've been replaying Super Mario 3 which so when I was a kid um, I'm actually not I shouldn't have been in a generation that played all the NES Mario games as much because I'm just a little young for that. Uh, I was born in the early 90s. So I don't... And NES came out in like early 80s maybe? Um, so, but my cousins... Or my uncle got an NES when he was a kid... And so his, um, oh wait, am I supposed to just stay? Oh, see, I already think I screwed up somewhere. No, I didn't. One, two, three. Oh, okay, got it. Boom. Um, but when I was a kid, my, my uncle had an NES and he left it at my grandparents' house. And my grandparents lived really close to me. So whenever I uh, was sick for from school, I would go over to my grandparents' house for, um, the, like, they would take care of me. So when, and I, whenever I was there, I would only play NES games. I would play Super Mario and Super Mario 3. So even though I wasn't really raised in the generation that played all those uh, retro Super Mario games, I did. I played them all, all the time. So I was really, really into Super Mario 3 specifically. Uh, and now I'm replaying Super Mario 3. I haven't in a long time. And it's so, it's bringing back so many memories. It's like, yeah, I'm thinking about my grandparents and my, when I was a kid and uh, my cousins and stuff. It's really nice actually. Tamara, yes, there is a video tutorial for this. Actually, if you get the video, if you download the the um, the pattern, there's a video tutorial attached to this. Now, I do ask that if you test out this pattern, try to use the video tutorial as little as possible. And the reason is because I'm trying to test out this color chart uh, specifically, and I don't talk about the color chart in the video. So try to only use the video for um, explanation uh, for certain rounds if you can. But if you if you'd rather just use the video, that's fine. It's a um, if you download the PDF, you'll find a link to the video. I just put it in the PDF itself. 
All right, so I'm even gonna check off that stitch so I know I did it. Which I, I think it's a pretty cool, that was like a last minute change um, was to add in that all the squares are check marks. And I actually did it like, I was like, oh, you know what'd be cool? What if all the squares were check marks? And then the second after I said it, I went, oh, damn it. <laughs> Shoot, that is a great idea, but that means I'm gonna have to remake this entire thing. And it took me like four hours to remake it all. Because I have to do, I mean, I've remade this template like seven times now, but I don't know. Mar <laughs> dad, hi dad. Uh, that's Bobby 4M Metalworks. That's my dad. He's actually, he started, <laughs> yeah, that's why I was sick so much was because I got to just hang out with grandma and grandpa and play, uh, play Super Mario games. I still know where all the secrets are in Super Mario 3. I was playing it the other day, and Jules was, Jules was like, how do you know where all these spots are? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I just know. All right. I think it's just looking pretty good. Well, one thing that looks weird to me is that I think this stitch is too close. Oh yeah, see, I did the nose. I did the nose in the wrong spot. That's right. I did, I did. Okay, so let's go back. I think I noticed that. Good thing I noticed that. <laughs> Hi, Isabel. How are you? Bye, Zainab. Oh, Kim, dude, thank you. Kim just super chatted because she's amazing and she's awesome. And, and who do you want to see dance? Here, I, I'll give you the options, Kim. You can choose between Mario, a mummy, a zombie, a, a swamp monster, an orc, or a ghost of any kind. <laughs> you choose. I'll make them do a little dance for you. <laughs> Dude, that's so nice of you. Thank you very much, Kim. Did it come up on screen? I didn't see. I think it came up on screen. Mummy. She wants the mummy, so you're gonna get a little preview of the, of uh, the halftime show right now. He's doing like the classic mummy dance. This is for Kim. Thanks, Kim. You rock. Right. I'm excited to show you. I'm always excited to show you what's going on in the halftime show. I still need to do a uh, a little a little video for that. Yeah, good choice, Kim. That was a really good choice. Okay, so let's review. Under wraps. <laughs> Hey, Vanessa, by the way. I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. Okay, so... Yeah, we're doing a lot better now. We're doing better. I like the nose. Yeah, I'm glad I noticed that where that was. Oh, boy, you guys want bluey loops. Bluey's loops. You'll see him in the halftime show for just a sec. Just a sec. All right, so we're on round eight. It's all easy squeezy from here on. Dude, Isabel, we missed you. Thanks for joining. Oh, hey, by the way, if you haven't voted yet, 
Um, later this month, not next weekend, but I think the weekend after, we're going to be doing another movie night. And uh, it's your chance to vote for what movie you want to watch. So we're voting between... Oh, hold on. i got to fix this. There we go. Lord of the Rings. That's what this guy's representing. Lord of the Rings versus Star Wars. So vote on what next month's, what you want to do for next month's movie night, or this month's movie night. Um, you can find it. <laughs> it looks funny that he's about to shoot him. Um, you can find the link. If you just log into clubcrochet.com uh, and you scroll down on the home page, you'll be able to find the voting thing. So we're voting there. So go vote. Oh, another one. Dude. Thank you, Dan. You rock. Okay, who do you want? Who do you want to do the dance, Dan? You get to choose. You got um, a bunch of different ghosts. You got Frankenstein, a swamp monster. Hey, thanks, Jess. Thank you, Jessica. All right, so I am on round nine now. I need my red yarn again. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's what I'm voting for too. I already voted. Oh, congratulations, Vanessa. All right, well, he's not choosing a guy to dance for him. So I'm going to choose for him. I'm going to choose a swamp monster. You guys are getting previews. No, actually, I'm not going to choose swamp monster. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose a zombie with a nose. Let's do right handed. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. You rock. <laughs> All right. Um, next, I need blue. Oh, I'm so excited to see how uh, what you guys think about this color chart. Uh, please, please, please try it out. I'm going to leave the color chart or the test open for a few, um, for, for probably the week. So if you want to test it out, I'll probably leave it up for that long. Maybe a little bit less. I don't know yet. Okay. We're changing back over. Four. Thank you so much again for super chatting, guys. That was really cool of you. It is completely unnecessary because uh, unless you unless you want to help support this channel, uh, but I do very much appreciate it, and all the funds go right back into crocheting, so it's pretty great. Have I played Among Us yet? No, I haven't, but my brother keeps telling me we got to play it. So I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, maybe I'll try that today. Have I ever played... Someone asked... Have, uh, oh, D&D Maps asks, Have I ever played um, Star Wars Battlefront 2? Heck, yes, I played Star Wars Battlefront 2. I played the OG Star Wars Battlefront 2 when it was on the PlayStation 2. I think it was PlayStation 2. Maybe it was Xbox 360. I don't know, but I did play it, and it was a, it is a great game. I played the new one too, and I actually really liked it a lot. Although I do have to say, EA, they're not great with video games. They kept, they keep screwing stuff up. They like to screw with gamers. So we got three, and then one, and then four. Oh, congratulations, Vanessa. So Jules and I met actually, uh, my girlfriend and I, we have been dating for 
four and a half years. Oh my gosh, wow. Uh, we've been dating for a long time. And we actually met on Tinder. Yep, we met on Tinder. Change back over to red. I think we're gonna be done with red after this. Yeah, we are. I like this song, I don't know what this song is from. Okay, now we need our white yarn again. What's my, Phantom Freak asks what's my favorite game. So that changes it every now and then. Uh, but I'll tell you some of my favorite games. I really like the Bioshock game. I'm a huge fan of Bioshock. Um, I really like um, Breath of the Wild. That is an incredible, incredible game. I think current my current favorite game is probably Super Smash Brothers. I love Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I play it a bunch. Oh man, Pikmin. Yeah, Amigurumi Boy uh, reminds me. I love Pikmin. Um, I'm a huge fan of Pikmin, and uh, I totally should do a bull barb from Pikmin. Pikmin's the best. If you guys haven't played Pikmin, get Pikmin 3. It's coming out on, on the Nintendo Switch in October. Ah! We've we've lost little Mario. I'm trying to untangle. Look at this. Look at this tangled mess that I've created. There we go. Almost got it out. It's because this red yarn was tangled from the start. The inside and outside were coming out at the same time. Pikmin's like, it's like a lie, it's like a strategy game, kind of, with where you control these little like ant-like creatures. It's kind of hard to explain, honestly, but you're this little alien creature and you, or you're this little alien, you come to a planet that's a lot like Earth and you have to um, plan your day out and it's fun, it's really, really fun. So yeah, I think we need, I mean, how many stitches? One, two, three, seven, six, and here's seven. All right, Victoria's starting to crochet Mario now. Cool, cool, cool. Don't forget to give, don't forget to fill out that questionnaire afterwards, please, please, please. I need I need as much feedback as possible. I need to know if this works because I think this color chart is going to be really useful for um, not only for myself but also for other Amy Groomy artists. If I do it right and I set it up correctly, I think this would be a really cool technique um, for other Amy Groomy artists to use to explain color changes with their Amy Groomy. We're gonna see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Okay. Now we cut this arm. Or cut the white yarn. I think we're done with white. Oh no, we gotta do the the head. We gotta do his his little his logo, of course, of course. Homeschooling a third grader now. My mom actually just started uh she retired. And she started uh, teaching, I think, a third grader, maybe a first grader, uh, someone young. Uh, she's used to teaching high school, so I'm really excited for her. So good luck to teaching a uh, third grader. I think that was when you learned times tables. And I remember uh, being really bad at them. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm doing the thing at the top of the head. I think I have an explanation in this. Let's see. Oh, see, I already found a mistake. I found a mistake. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, sorry, I needed to look at where this was going because I mistakenly said the wrong spot. I think I go over this five times. One. It's been a second since I've crocheted Mario, obviously. So. Well, so pardon my slow understanding of this but what's great about I think this color chart thing is um, I think it's really good for explaining how to do color changes the first time you do them but I think it's even better if you're going to repeat the pattern um, because the last page of the color chart shows um, what I showed in the beginning of this live stream that that one huge chart that's actually the last page of the color chart and it's there so that you can repeat this pattern really easily and just keep making it over and over um, in like the most simple way possible. That's pretty good. This song sounds like it's from a Donkey Kong game. It's really quiet though. Hey, also, if you like this video, like the video down below, please. We'll see how many people we can get to like it. Um, I know last time, I think our record is 200 on, during the live stream. Let's see how many we got. We got 100 already. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If you like this video, like it down below. Maybe we can beat our 200 record. We need our black yarn. Oh, here it is. So something about Mario is he's actually got a black mustache. He's got brown hair and a black mustache, whereas his brother Luigi has got a brown mustache. I always really related a lot more with Luigi, even though I am the older brother, because my name is Louis, and it derives from Luigi because I am Italian. So I'm named after my grandpa, whose name is Louie, but his name comes from Luigi. Somewhere, somewhere up there, one of my great, great grandpas. Okay, we're gonna try to figure out this M. Up, okay, that's pretty good. That's a good start. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe we're gonna find out. I've been sneezing so much since this since the smoke in the air. It is like it is no fun. It is a nightmare for sinuses. Crochet <laughs> Monty. <laughs> Classic Monty with his with his little quips and then his his little dab emoji. <laughs> it's so stupid. You're funny, dude. Okay, we go up to there. Okay. That M is looking pretty good. We just got to do one more. We can't get it from the very corner right there. Uh-oh. I went around something in the inside by accident. Let's fix that. There we go. It's hard to see. I should have probably sewn on this M a little earlier in the pattern. Which is why we test this out so we can see what the explanations are. Yeah, let's try this again. 
Here we go. Got it. Pretty good. I am pretty happy with that. It can be hard to do those little embroiderer things. So I'm pretty proud of that one. Yeah, that is a that is a solid M in my opinion, in my opinion. All right. So we got our M on. Now we add our eyes. The eyes are a little bit tricky for these uh, pod people because you need to use, um, you need to go in the center of a stitch, which can be a little tricky, especially if you've never, um, oh, look at this, look at this, they almost got me. Look at this, this one's broken. You can see it's kind of angled. Eric Hernandez, dude, thank you. All right, man, who do you want to do the dance? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna go with, let's do, let's do Boo. I mean, that makes sense, right? That's my boo. That's my boo laugh. Oh, here, wait. I even got this. One second. This is for Eric. Thank you so much. Look, we'll do this. Mario will be over here looking this way. And then he'll turn around. And boo will look backwards. Wah, 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 wah. You guys want to hear my Mario voice? I can do some good. Uh, I can do some good Mario impressions. I was telling Jules before this live stream that I was gonna do Mario impressions. She was like, "Well, you're not bad at them." So I can do Mario jumping. Yeah, yeah, hoo. I can do. Um, I can do. Let's see. Oh. I can do Mario really exhausted. Oh, oh, oh. And I think my favorite one is I can do Luigi from Luigi's Mansion calling for Mario. Um, I don't know if you've played Luigi's Mansion, but it's a really fun game. And in it, Luigi always goes, mm, Mario, Mario, oh Mario. And then he whistles and he goes. <whistles> or, he'll, or he'll hum it sometimes and go like, Mm-hmm. 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 Mario. <laughs> what do you think about my impressions? Crochets and Mario noises. So see how this is this can be a little tough with getting that eye in the center of that stitch right there. But it means everything if you can get it in there because it, it, it's the perfect placement for the eyes. Good, good, good. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> All right. Look at this baby face Mario. Oh, he's so cute. Now let's give him a mustache. Let's grow him up a little bit. Yes, Victoria, yes. We're basically pulling through two times for the splitting. You pull through once with the first color and then twice with the uh, second color. You want to get right under that nose for the mustache. And we want to try to get it like that. So what we're going to do... That's pretty good. There we 
go. You know Lego Mario, not personally, but I know of him. <laughs> That's a Scott Pilgrim quote. Hey guys, this is the 10th anniversary for Scott Pilgrim. That's I think maybe my favorite movie of all time. And it's the 10th anniversary this month, I think. So they're re-coming out with the game. There's a Scott Pilgrim game. Oh, that is a terrible mustache. That was bad. I did bad. I don't like your mustache, Mr. Little Mario. We're going to redo that. Where'd that stitch come out of? There we go. Yuck. Yuck. Gross mustache, dude. Ew. You need to wash that thing or something. Let's fix that. Look at that long nose hair. Let's try like that. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that's a good start. Then we go from here. Looks like we gotta go from like outer. Even further though. Oh, we'll try this one. That's a little bit better. Yeah, it's not bad. Mario. What is the purpose of splitting? The purpose of splitting is so that you can make the hat, uh, the brim of the hat go over the head like that. See how it's kind of like over it? That is done with splitting. And the reason that you split is so that you can actually crochet around it so it looks like this round is all, see? It basically makes two rounds in the same place. You, you split the round into two, just for a second, and then you cover it back up. All right. Do a Yoshi impression. Bring ha! Blam! Yoshi! That was pretty good, right? Yeah. Monty, dude, the same. I can actually grow a pretty okay mustache. Jules is not a fan of my mustache, though, so I haven't grown it out in a long time. But I have grown a mustache. Um, that was like four years ago now. <laughs> I did have a nice mustache though. One day I'll have a good old dad mustache. That's the plan. Goomba. I can do a little Goomba. Well, Goomba don't really make any noises. Maybe they go like rang, 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 rang. All right, we are on. Okay, so we've done the arms. Done the face. Okay, so we're now we're on round eleven. Look at this blue. It's called dazzle blue, and it is just so nice. It's just like pops. It pops, baby. <laughs> I'll check out Roblox. Okay, I'll look into it. <laughs> Always saying Roblox. Gosh, you're a Roblox fan. The way you wrote the way you wrote that Monty makes me want to do an impression of uh, Hulk Hogan. 
You guys know who Hulk Hogan is? He's kind of growing out of, like, uh, popularity, but Hulk Hogan was a pro wrestler. I never really watched pro wrestling, but I did know who Hulk Hogan was. He goes, brother! Actually, that might be Randy Man Savage or whatever. Sanded Savage. I don't remember what that guy's name is. Brother! He's the uh, the one guy who I'm trying to Im do an impression of does... This is, this is how nerdy I am. Is that I know who this guy is because of his part in Spider-Man. The original Spider-Man. He plays Bonesaw. Bonesaw is coming! <laughs> Remember that? Randy Ma Macho Man Savage. Thank you very much, Kim. <laughs> it's so funny that I know him because of Spider-Man, though. <laughs> Oh, brother, I'm going to get you, and I'm going to break you apart limb by limb. We're doing the foot. We're doing the foot now, yeah. So there is a foot, there is one foot there, and then we will move on to the, get the, the other foot, which is, it looks like, oh, because of the color chart, I can tell that it is four stitches away from the first one. One, two, three, and here is four. Macho Man says, snap into a Slim Jim. How was that, Kim? <laughs> Hi, Lizzie. How are you? Lizzie's actually... I said this last live stream, too, but... Lizzie's actually... Um, one of the reasons why I am... Uh, going into so much detail on this color chart. She made it very obvious that it was a... Um, she really liked the color chart a lot. So she sent me an email and said, hey, I love the color charts. And it made me realize, man, I should use these more often. It seems like it was a really useful technique. And let's try it again. I think I, yeah, I think I did say that last live stream. But again, thank you so much, Lizzie. Um, Macho Man is not from a song. He's from a WWE. E. It used to be called WWF when I was a kid, but it's the world. It's it's a wrestling. It's a bunch of wrestling guys, bunch of big wrestling dudes that grab each other and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Never was really into wrestling. Wrestling. All right, let's add some of these little. Some of his little buckles here. We need his yellow yarn. Yellow yarn, yellow yarn. That is not yellow, that is white. We got every color but yellow. Here's the yellow. Am I sitting on it? Maybe. Where is it? Where did I put it, yellow? I know I had it. I'm certain I had it before. I must be on top. Oh, I was. I was sitting right on top of it. I'm gonna have a good, my good butt stink on it. <laughs> Rosa, please don't uh, block up the chat if you can, Rosa. Rosa, I gotta put you in timeout for just a second, buddy. Sorry I did that, Rosa, but you were spamming the chat. All right, I am making his little buckles now. I used to do these with bullion knots, but I kind of found that the bullion knots were a little, um, 
they, I don't know, they just didn't look right to me, so I did this one instead. I don't know what song this is. You want me to find out? I can find out. Let's see. Oh, it's called Milky Way Wishes from Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. So we're actually listening to different Nintendo music now. It's not all Mario music anymore. So this is from a Kirby game. One more over here. How does one bullion knot asks aquatic luna? Let me show you. Why don't I just show you? Let me let me finish this up right here and then I'll I'll do a little bullion knot and I'll get rid of it. It was how I used to do eyes also and stuff like that. It's it's pretty useful. So what you do is we'll take a little bit of yarn, thread it on a needle. Sorry, I gotta minimize this. Thread it on a needle like this. Is this music? This music's really loud, huh? I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. There we go. How's that? Yeah, there we go. That that's a little bit better. I I might even turn it down a little bit more. Than that. There we go. Okay. So you go like this. You take your your needle, you come out of your piece. We're just gonna come out, you come out anywhere from the inside. Okay, and then here's what you do. You grab it with your, you grab your needle and you wrap it around your yarn three times. So you go with one, two, and three, like that. See, three, three times around the yarn. You can see where it's coming out from right there. And then you hold it going away from your piece and you go back into your piece from a stitch that is not the same stitch you came out of so the stitch next to it like, like right there hold it going up and you pull these two ends tight and then you hold the knot right here you grab your needle and you pull that through the knot and then you pull both these ends a little bit and see what it does is it creates this little tiny knot. You, you can actually fix it a little bit too. This is where you can like kind of tweak the knot a little bit, a little bit like that. And then you can double knot it on the inside and it makes this little tiny knot. They call it a bullion knot. So that's how I used to do buckles, but I felt that it looked a little weird. So I, I started doing them as just like embroidered pieces instead. Okay. Yeah, like a French knot. Yeah, it is a French knot. Okay, so now we're doing decreases down. Hey, I'm going to take this second to uh, say a quick thank you to our moderator, Miss Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah, for being here and helping out. You're amazing. I'm also going to redo <laughs> this buckle because I didn't tie it tight enough. Oh, I know what this music's from. Okay. Is the live stream lagging? Looks like it maybe might be lagging just a little tiny bit, maybe? I can't tell. Okay, let's do that stitch and then let's try doing another buckle here. There's so much extra yarn here to use to stuff them up. Let's try this buckle again.
Bye, Swiffer. Alright. We got that there buckled in. All right, let's keep rocking and rolling. I'm gonna make this Mario into a finger puppet. Now I'm working on a new tutorial for how to crochet finger puppets. Um, I did a tutorial for how to crochet finger puppets like a long time ago, like a year or two ago. Uh, but since then I've learned a better way to do it. So I'm gonna be doing that in this video and then I'll do a explainer video um, probably next week or the week after for how to do finger puppets. But here is how I do it right now. I just stop when it's 12 stitches left and we just cut there, pull it through. I did a slip stitch at the end and then I'm going to switch over. That's okay. Dislikes happen. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Please. And make sure to uh, hit the little bell icon so you can get notified whenever there's new videos like these live streams. If you're not already. Okay, so now I'm making the uh, the insert that's gonna go be the finger puppet insert. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, Aquatic Luna. You can do Luigi the exact same. Uh, if you use green instead of red, yep, and you do an L instead of the M, except you add an extra round, so round eight. Uh, if you're reading the pattern, round eight is repeated once to make a uh, um, Luigi. Yeah. Yeah. Piano Forte asked uh, asked how did he become uh, how did you become a moderator? Yeah, just what Star said. She just emailed me and asked uh, and offered to help out. And at that time, I didn't have any moderator, so I, did, I needed some help. Um, I think right now we're pretty almost filled. I don't know. But that is how, that's how she became a moderator. Yeah, you could do that too. Uh, Marizabel <laughs> says that uh, maybe make the overalls a row or two more for Luigi. Yeah, that would work also because he is a little bit taller. I know this song. What, do I, what song is this from? It's like an underwater level, but I can't remember which underwater level it is. Oh, it's from Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Another great game. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it definitely the the pattern itself tells you how to do Luigi also. Got to get a little finger popping in here. Oh, got them stretches. Yes, Piano Fort. Uh, Sarah is a moderator. Sarah Louise is here, and she is a moderator. I also have uh, my other Louis Loops account on watching. That's how I'm actually reading the chat, is I'm reading it with Louis Loops, and he... That one is also a moderator, so if I need to, I can control, uh, I can hide stuff. 
and stuff like that. So what you do for the the little finger puppet part is that you basically make a little finger like it's like a finger of a glove. I'll show you after this. So basically it's you make a magic loop and you single crochet six into the magic loop. And then you uh, for round two, you increase up to nine stitches by doing a single cro crochet and then an increase. You repeat that three times to get from six stitches up to nine stitches. And then you single crochet around for three rounds. And it makes just a slight little tiny finger right there. And then for the last round of your finger puppet, you um, increase up to whatever the stitch count is for the hole that you need to put the finger puppet in into. So for this case, we want to increase it up to 12 stitches. So I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two and then an increase and repeat that three times which is going to bring me up from nine stitches to 12 stitches and then i'll do a slip stitch cut it pull through and then i'll sew this on the inside of the mario to make him into a little finger puppet two and what i think is great about these finger puppet things is you can't even tell they're finger puppets on the outside you know it's like why not make them a finger puppet takes a little bit extra time but I mean why not make him a finger puppet there we go And then how I sew it on is I take, there's two ends here. So I take the inside end that's coming right from the middle and I actually just thread that onto a needle. And I go backwards, I go through the top of this finger puppet thing. And then I take, go into the center of my Mario and I come out very, to the very, very tippy top like that. And this way it pulls it in like so, okay. And then we're just going to sew this on the inside. But first, I'm going to stuff them a little bit. Um, let's start with this. Just all those extra end, odds and ends. That's what we'll do first for the top of him. And then I'll use some regular old stuffing on the bottom. Right up the bum. Yep, that's right, Ann. <laughs> Where is the stuffing? Here it is. I keep my stuffing in, in this little bell bag. If you want this pattern, this is available at clubcrochet.com slash animal crossing. It's a little bag. It's a, supposed to be just a project bag, but I actually use it for stuffing for right now because it's easiest. But this is, can be the tricky part about the stuffing is that you need to make sure that the stuffing is on every side of the finger puppet so that he has no like empty parts. Hey, I know this song. Animal Crossing. There we go. And I'm just pull this part. 
And then I like to shift it over so that the the ends are in the same place as the other ends. And then I just take one of these and I sew it, sew each stitch together. Like this. Boop, boop, boop. One. Uh, the movie night is going to be on Saturdays because, well, I'm doing Saturdays right now. I don't know. what. I think Saturdays are probably the best. And the reason is because then you have Sunday off so you can like stay up late if you if it. I'm trying to make it so that the movie night works out for the most time zones possible. And I know that a lot of times like right now is really late for some people. And so I don't want to make it really late. I don't want people to join into the live stream if they have like to work on Mondays or go to school on Mondays and stuff, you know. So I'm trying to do it at a reasonable time and on Saturdays so that you have Sunday off. And yeah, I've been trying to do I'm going to try to do movie nights once a month. And then when I come to the end here, there's going to be these two stitches, right? And we're going to go one, come out the first one, and then we'll go in, out somewhere on the body. And then I take this other end. I go into the same place and come kind of come well having a hard time getting the needle in here come on. there we go out the same spot right it like that pull it up boom and I just double knot these guys cut it stuff it in and we got a Super Mario. We're just about done with Mr. Mario. Hmm. Mario? Mario. Yeah. Yahoo. Wow. That's Bowser laughing when Mario dies in Super Mario 64. <laughs> Very specific. So long, Gibaza! Alright. Here we go. We've got little Mario. Little Mario finger puppet. Ba da 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 da. How does it look? What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. Now, testing out this pattern, uh, I mean, for me, because I know how to read these color charts, I had no problem with it personally. Uh, but it's not about what I think. It's actually about what you think. So please, if you get a chance, do this pattern and give me your feedback. But in the meantime, we are going to do a little halftime show, and then I think I'm going to make a Mario shell. So let's do the halftime show. Let's put this Mario to the side for just a sec. And I'll show you guys all the stuff I've been working on this month or this week. First off, hello. This is the hardest part for me. I can't, I don't know how to hide best. I gotta like. Do like that. Do like that. Oh, I got some yarn on me. Ooh, where's the camera? There it is. Hi, and welcome to the halftime show. Yeah, woo, 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 woo. This is where uh, Louie shows you all the things he's been working on this month or this week. Sorry, 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 Lou. That's okay. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to show you all the things we've been working on. Um, and this is supported by you. If you want to help support this channel, uh, go ahead and do a super chat 
and uh, we'll do a little dance and stuff. And that's how you support it. Or you can become a Cloak Crochet member. You know the dealio. All right, show them what you got. Okay, okay. Ugh! <laughs> Alright. So, I've been making a bunch of things this this week. I'm trying to get prepared. <laughs> Halftime show, Louis descends to the floor. <laughs> okay, so here's what we have been making this week. Um, first off, I made another dinosaur. Look at this pink, pink T-Rex. Um, I just thought it was fun, so I crocheted another pink dinosaur. So I'm just going to put that aside. I made that last night uh but the main thing that i've been working on is obviously these pod puppet uh color chart patterns and the reason i've been working on them a bunch is because i'm trying to get set up for halloween here's what we're doing guys uh this month for halloween we're doing a few cool things first off uh we're, i'm getting three kits together the first one that i showed before was the ghost kit which uh, get, includes all the materials to make all these ghosts. You make three ghosts from video games. You make Pinky, Ghastly, and Boo from Mario. And then you also make a classic ghost. But I also wanted to get some other uh, Halloween pattern kits going. So what we're doing is this month's Club Crochet Pro kit is going to be for volume one of a two volume Halloween series. Uh, in volume one, we're going to be making a little swamp monster. Look at him. Isn't he cute? It'll make a zombie. And Frankenstein. And a witch. But I don't have the witch finished just yet. Um, so that's what's going to be for volume one. You're going to be able to make a zombie, a Frankenstein, a swamp monster, and a witch. I need to practice the witch tonight. Uh, and they're all finger puppets. So that's what's going to be this month's pro kit. So if you want to get this uh, kit, become a Club Crochet Pro member. Uh, you can become a Club Crochet Pro member in the description below. And if you become a pro member, you actually get it for only $15. I am going to have these available in the shop. They're going to be, I think, $25. So you get a discount if you're a pro member. You have to become a pro member before the end of the month. So before September 30th, and you'll get the kit to make all these characters plus a witch. Um, I don't have the witch yet. But I'm also working on a second volume, which will come out and you'll be able to pre-order and it'll come so that we can crochet that together as well. And for the second volume, you'll be able to make uh, a bunch of characters that I don't have just yet, but it includes a werewolf, a vampire. I'll show you the vampire. I do have him. So here's what a vampire looks like. Blah, blah. A little vampire uh, and a mummy you saw the mummy before there's a little mummy 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 no so this is something I've been working on this week is a mummy pattern um, and I think it's pretty cute it's pretty simple to make the the mummy part is kind of tricky but I'll I'll have to do that in a video to explain a little bit better and uh, obviously a vampire you'll also be able to make a werewolf and a ghost and a bat and bat werewolf ghost mummy i think that's it um but yeah those are what i've been working on uh so if you want to get the kit for five or ten dollars cheaper become a club crochet pro member before the end of the month and you'll get it for cheap and you'll get all these a kit for all these patterns um, and they're all gonna have uh, this this color chart thing built in um, yes so I'm very excited about that D&D uh, &D maps wants me to show them the burbs okay fine one second Oh, here it is. So, this was from last week's. But, 
Yes, yes, Abby. Yes, good, good eye there. Yes, the the swamp monster has the, the ears and the fin on the back are actually from the seahorse pattern. So yeah, good, good eyes. Um, so this is from last week's. Uh, we had a bunch of little um, uh, pigeons. Uh, so this pattern's coming out soonish, uh, and yeah, I just need to work on it a little bit more. But what's great about the pattern is that you can turn the heads. Oh wait, not this head. Which one? This, this one. Ah. So what's great about? Yeah, keep dropping these scissors. So what's great about this pattern is a couple of things. First off, um, there's a magnet on the bottom, so that you can attach it to like, um, to whatever. See, you can see. It holds on upside down. Uh, also, what's great about it is that you can turn the head. See? So you can turn the head in any direction you want. So you can look at each other. This guy's looking a little bit... Oh. And what's even best about this is that the heads are actually... Boop! Removable. Because there's... It's not really a pigeon. It's just a little burb with a pigeon he mascot head. <laughs> boop, boop. I think I'm going to do a bunch of different kind of heads for these two. Um, these are going to be on the rough drafts. I meant to get them up last week, but I didn't finish it in time. So I'll try to get these up uh, this week onto the um, onto uh, the rough drafts pattern. Uh, this guy's good. This guy looks a little weird. I'm practicing like where to place the eyes in the bobble stitches. But yeah. Okay. Oh, that was a pretty good halftime show, if you ask me. Let's get all these guys off to the side. Oh, man, there's so many. What do I do with all these? What do I do with them all? Well, this guy can just sit right there. And this one can sit right here. Oh, no, he can't. How about this side? Nope. Get these, get these ghouls and ghosts out of the way. And we'll make a... Okay, we'll just keep them in the background. We'll just keep them on screen for the end of this then. Because I don't got anywhere else to put them. Become a pro member. It's it's cheaper to do it now than it is if you want to get the kit later. Oh, and here's the Mario that we just made. So we'll keep him out too. Alright, so now we're working on... Uh... I need to get the pattern up. But we're going to make a uh, Mario shell. A Koopa shell, I should say. Okay, pattern's up. Hi, ho, up. Let me get a sip of coffee. All right. First, we need to make the base. <laughs> That's a great answer, Marisabel. I asked, what am I going to do with all these characters? She's got a great point. We make a yarn army. A yarn me. Yarn me. Oh my god, that's a great idea, Grace. Maybe I can make a way so that it could stay on your laptop, like like right on the top of your laptop, you know, like right on the edge of it. That'd be so cool. I don't know how, but it would be very cool. Okay, so I'm going to start by making the base of our Mario shell. And I'm probably just going to go through this really quick. If you want to get this pattern, I think you just go to Koopa Shell or Koopa or something like that. Oh, Shell. You just go to Shell. Clubcrochet.com slash Shell. That's how you can find this pattern. And it, this one is actually a free pattern, so if you want to get it, it's totally free. I mean, the Mario one is free also, but that's only free for right now. This one is like perma-free. Jess, happy birthday! Happy birth... 
birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Just run around throwing birds instead of I. <laughs> Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. It's your happy birthday. I don't know the rest of the song. <laughs> Go dance, Louie. Here. I'll tell you what. We'll have Mario dance for her. Happy birthday, Jess. Oh, I can't see. Am I on the camera? There we go. Happy birthday! Bling, bling. Yahoo! That was the sound effects of him walking. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Merry Birthmas. I like that. Monty. Meme Monty. That's what we're going to call you, Monty. Monty the Meme King. Right. So we've got our bottom of our shell almost done. Boom. This is another pattern I really like. It's, I mean, this pattern is actually a little bit complicated. Uh, it's not like super easy to make, but it isn't. Um, but it is quick. It's a very quick pattern. So once you know how to make it. You can like remake them really fast. All right, so we got the base done. I can just cut this. I'm gonna leave this one on there. And then now we need to make the uh, main part of the shell. So we need a red yarn. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? This tangled mess of yarn. But we've got it anyhow. There we go. I just realized this is in a very weird position, this camera. But it works, it doesn't matter. Hey, again. Make sure to like this video if you haven't yet. Uh, we're, we're running. We're at 140. If we can get, I'd love to get 200 if we can, but it's okay if we can't. It happens. All right, so we got three, four. I should probably pull up the pattern. Because <laughs> of a blue shell in Mario. Yeah, the blue shell is a killer. I uh, just played Mario Kart last night, actually. Yesterday with some friends. One, two, three, six. <laughs> People dislike things. It's okay. It happens. One, two, three. Hey, I know this song. Hey, what, um... People probably know this joke, but uh, what are um, 
What is Mario's favorite material? What's his favorite material? Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right, so I am on round. Finishing up round three. Oh, no, no. I screwed that up. <laughs> Zoe. Zoe knew what was going to happen right before. If anybody knows any more Mario jokes, let me know. Oh, oh, here we go. Jess says, what is Mario's favorite food? What's Mario's favorite food? Jess. One, two. Steffi asks, where are your kids? Because that's a dad joke. <laughs> They're not here yet. They'll be here in who knows how long. <laughs> Monty, that's a st <laughs> Monty says, what do you call a magic owl? Houdini. Oh, Jess. Jess's pun was, what's, for what's Mario's favorite food, it's mushrooms. Psh, psh. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, kids, ETA, not found. I think this goes up to 18, right? Yeah, okay. I'm remembering this Mario shell like I remember where all the hidden... Um, Like, I remember where all the hidden flutes are in Super Mario 3. I know where they're all at. I got three currently in Super Mario 3 as I'm going through it. It's like, I don't even, I'm not even going to use any of those flutes. But I got them just because I want them. In Super Mario 3, uh, the hidden flutes let you warp to different um, worlds. So you can use it to like jump to the e very end of the game right away if you want. But I'm just replaying it all just because I want to. So I don't really want to use any of the flutes. I'm going to undo that because I don't like the black showing through that stitch. go what do you get from an invisible cow evaporated milk what do you call a cow with gr with no legs? Ground beef. That's good. I like that. Abby wants me to do a Bigfoot for next live. Oh, I'd love to, but we actually already have it planned out. Um, I will put that into the roster, though, for you, Abby. But next week, we're actually doing a sandcastle. So if you want to get prepped, we're going to be making a sandcastle, and we might have enough time to do a beach ball, but we're definitely doing a sandcastle next week. This was the Club Crochet Pro kit for last um, for September. It's 
So we're doing a crochet along for a sand castle next week. A sand castle next week. Oh, that's really good. I like that one, Jess. How does Mario contact his dead brother? A Luigi board. <laughs> that's a good one, Jess. Oopsies. Messed that one up. So quiet. I'm so quiet. I'm so quiet. All right, we got the top of the shell and the bottom of the shell done. Now we just need to make the border and then sew it all together. I'm just going to sew this closed right now to get it over with. To get it over with. Yeah. Steffi asks, what is my favorite color? My favorite color is either, well, it's actually either the colors that are the Club Crochet, um, like the main colors in Club Crochet. So it's, it's either teal um, it's kind of like a dark teal or like, a, yeah, you know, like the logo of the pattern of the website or that purple from the website. That's the reason why that's the, the colors I use because they're my favorite colors. I like purple and I like teal. I like greens in general. I'm a, I'm a fan of greens. Which is funny because it's my aunt's, my aunt would always say that she hates the color green. My aunt Pam does not like greens thinks it's a gross color. I think it's one of my favorites. Makes me think, it makes me calm. I like greens. And I like purple because it's, I don't know, it just feels good. It feels rare, I guess. Which is a silly thing to say, but it's, I don't know. I just like the color purple. Teal, yeah, teal's a great color. It's a good one. Yeah, just look at the logo. Just look at the subscribe logo. You'll see that it's that teal color. I also chose that color for the main color for the website because um, uh, I wanted to choose colors that were like uh, not gendered. You know, I didn't want to use a color that was too girly or too boy. -y. You know, I didn't want to use any blues or any pinks or anything like that um, because I wanted to show that this website is for everybody. It doesn't matter what you are, anybody can be a hooker. <laughs> Where do I get the rubber finger grips you use? I don't know what you're talking about. What rubber finger grips? You mean this? The, the crochet hook with the rubber finger grips. Um, I got this one, I think, from just Joanne's. It's it's a clover crochet hook. You can kind of barely see it right there. It says clover on there. Um, okay, I am on the border, chain 19. So we're going to leave a little bit of an end here. Where are we at here? Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay. One, two, three. Sorry, I gotta count for a sec. Four. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Sixteen. Okay. 
Cut it. All right. Now is the most difficult part of this, is I need to sew it all together. I hate sewing this part together. I really do. First, I'm going to cut this black bit, because we don't need it anyhow. It's just going to get in the way. I think I start by, let's start by going like this. Yes, that is the particular brand that I'm currently using is Lily Sugar and Cream. That's my that's my favorite um, because I like using cotton yarn personally rather than like an acrylic. Uh, and yeah, I just like this yarn. It comes in a bunch of different colors, which is really nice too. Okay, I'm going to start like this. Up through right. Come on. There we go. All right, let's try not to do this too messy, but I always kind of screw up the border of this. It's just, it's just tricky. That back side. I think this is how I do it. I might, I might be messing this up, but we're gonna find out. And then I think we go through the back of like there. Okay. There we go. Bye, Jess. Uh, yes, I hope you have a wonderful day. Wunderbar. Sure, you go up through the center of that. Doing this wrong and doing it right, who knows? This is why I have video tutorials. Honestly, one of the big reasons why I even do crochet tutorials is because I forget how to do my own patterns all the time, so I like to use them as reference so that I remember. There we go. But I think we're on a roll here. Looks pretty good to me. I think I crocheted this white border a little bit tight, but it looks pretty good. Oh, that's silly. Why the why does Computer Mario not have Safari? Oh, wait, why does the computer of Mario not have Safari, Chrome, or Mozilla? Because he doesn't like browsers. 
You're so silly. Oh, my God. Uh-oh, did we finish our second album there? We ran out of music again. Uh-oh. 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 There we go. I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on our Pikmin soundtrack because I like it. We're gonna go straight to the center of the soundtrack. There we go. I like Pikmin's. Cause I like Pikmin's. Finish up this live stream. We're coming up to the end of the live stream, by the way, guys. Make sure to like the video if you haven't yet. And don't forget Please do not forget to give feedback on that color chart pattern. That is like uh, definitely the be the most important thing that I want to let you guys know about is if you do that color chart Mario, which please do, please, uh, please give me feedback on it. I really, really am looking for any, um, I, I, I want to know what you think of this color chart because I need as much feedback as possible before I start to start using it widely on the website. Or not using it widely if this color chart is not working for you. If it if it makes things more difficult, then we don't want to use it. So Yeah, okay. Abby says, would you consider doing Pokemon? Absolutely. So I actually have a few Pokemon patterns on the website uh, right now, but I think it those are I think it's about time that we update those too. So, yes, I'll look into updating those Pokemon patterns and maybe adding a few new ones as well in the future. We'll go up to right there. All right, just about at the end here. I'm going to make sure this shell looks top notch without it looking too wonky. Uh oh. Make a piggy head. <laughs> okay. Remind me next week, Piano Fort. I'll show you uh, this thing that I was working on in the past. I think it's pretty cool. That has to do with a piggy head. Okay, so we got our Mario shell just about done. Now we just need to go around the outside of this stitch. Like that come back down through the same spot and we'll come up through right there it's a little bit messy at the end but whatever what you gonna do what are you gonna do you know sometimes it gets messy plus I haven't done this pattern so long Ooh, gave my hand a cramp though Crochet a little too tightly, I think. But we have a Mario shell, a Koopa shell. Trim that. And we'll trim this part. We'll stuff all these little ends back in. We'll use these for stuffing later. Like that. That's what we're looking for. All right. There we go. I crocheted it so tightly. You can see it's like really extra tiny. Usually it's not this tiny. But we have a Mario show. We got a Mario. And we've got a really big thank you guys so very much for joining me on this live stream. You guys are amazing. Amazing. 
make sure to like subscribe all that fun stuff and if you really want to support this channel again please become a club crochet member it helps support the channel a bunch um, and you get a bunch of exclusive patterns and projects if you want to get uh, the next month kit make sure to sign up before the end of the month and you'll get the um, club crochet pro kit uh, and it will be for a bunch of Halloween Halloween and me Hooktober. <laughs> uh, yeah, Halloween's like my favorite time to do that. Um, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much again for watching. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. Steffi, you are a joy. Maria, you are amazing. Oh, Kim. Dude, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Kim, thank you. You're incredible, dude. You rock. Okay, so you got a dance last time from a mummy. Let's do, how about a vampire? A little vampire dance? A little vampire dance for you, Kim? Blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that was so dumb. Here, let's do it in this game. Hello, hello. Oh. Also, I have a little, um, I have a video that I'm really excited to share with you. Bah, hello, my name is a vampire. Um, let's see, do I have any good vampire jokes? Can't. All my all my good vampire jokes suck. <laughs> so dumb. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Again, next week we are going to be making this fella here. A sandcastle and a beach ball. And then the week after, we're going to be doing our uh, movie night. Okay. All right. I'll stop procrastinating. I'm still procrastinating. All right. Bye, guys. See you next Sunday.